messing around with my my screen here. So it really, I've got, so it's just six dwarves. Nothing, nothing, stop it. Why do I have just six dwarves? Filter dwarves, zero. Laborers, military. Weed dwarves. Hmm. Well, this is a new problem. We're going to reboot Dwarf Therapist. I just bragged on it. Actually, Dwarf Therapist is awful. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Dwarf Therapist, here. There we go. Um, dwarf Therapist. Ta-da. Okay, got it. So it tells us how many, how many dwarves we have here. Um, you can group them all the way down to migration wave. Uh, gender, happiness. Uh, it, it does take a little initial setup. Uh, it's a pain in the butt to set up on Mac. And I did not mean to just resize that. That probably effed with y'all. Um, just get in the habit. I actually have this set to be the right resolution for the cast, so it won't look like crap. Okay. No, there is not more than one DF running. I think I just booted up DF before... Oh, I booted up, I remember, I booted up the wrong fort first, and then I, it didn't know how to, it didn't realize that I closed it, so restarting it allowed it to get synced up with the right fort. That makes more sense. Okay, so we can order, we can say read, and it'll be currently accurate. I can organize them, and then look at all these dwarves. Now, because I automate things, I don't allow anybody with a real job to to do hauling. So what we're gonna do is we're actually we're gonna see how I'm doing on things. So let's check masonry first and see if I have ten. I try to get ten up relatively early. And I have ten. So I have ten masons. The reason it's just taking forever is because they're all awful. Um and actually, we have a better mason. So we're gonna make this guy no longer a mason since he's already not a hauler. We're gonna make him an engineer. We always use more engineers. And we're gonna upgrade this guy that has some skill in this. We're gonna do the same thing here. Who actually has some things in mechanics. How convenient. Okay. Now we have our 10. And then you have to click Commit Changes, and that's how Dwarf Therapist works. Couldn't be simpler. Um, there's, you'll, you'll watch other casters that use it, and if they show it on cast, it is set up a little different. I prefer the numbers. You can have these squares that grow bigger, and when they're full, that means they're legendary. Um, I prefer numbers. It's really quick, really raw. Um, I prefer making the squares a little bigger. I made the font a little bigger. And I do have my settings in DF where um, all migrants default to not having all their labels tur labors turned off except for hauling. So when they show up, they're only allowed to haul. So I don't have people getting in there and trying to mess with the people that I really want to actually be good at those things. Way to go Horf on the, uh, on the professional mining there. Um, all right, so we have 10 masons running. We still have idlers, so let's go see what else we have that we can. Now we do only have four mechanics. That guy has architecture turned on. And masonry. Who else has architecture turned on? Why? Okay, 
who is our uh, we don't have a broker yet how did I make it to this many dwarfs without a broker that is what I'm talking about when you're streaming I get way off topic and I get off to thinking about like grander concepts and I just forget basic crap so um, So I do have both things up right now. Sorry, I'm not showing you both. It just I haven't flashed between them. Uh, something Ishi is um, the only person with any skills capable of being a broker. I make my broker and bookkeeper the same thing. So we're gonna go down and find out what Something Ishi is doing. Uh, something Ishi is currently a mason. So we are short. We are down one mason. Uh, they are also my architect because you don't need architecture that often. So then let's come back up and let's look for somebody who that shouldn't be on. Okay. And then let's go ahead and enable this on Mr. Brandon Gaming and let's commit those all right Sly says that's the reason he doesn't stream uh, valid point valid point you do make great YouTube videos when you when you get the chance though and I appreciate those they really sum up what I take three hours to say and do a better job doing it so um, for those of you that haven't watched his, he did a video on how to kind of automate like an A to B uh, automatic refuse smasher. So for people that have a frame rate issue or are having an issue with necromancers attacking and need to atom smash, he, uh, he shows how to make a minecart that will take your refuse, swing it around, and just smash it, and will come back to pick up more refuse. So it's, it's pretty nifty. Okay, so we have our 10 masons. I do like to run with about five mechanics. Looks like I only have two. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make this random guy mechanic. And we're gonna make cardboard box a mechanic. There's four. And Mr. Dope Goaty. A mechanic okay so there's our five mechanics and then we still have some idlers so it may be time to start considering um, some military so maybe some of you will get military dwarves uh, we have our five mechanics we have our our one wood crafter we have two miners um, which is plenty um, for now uh, and then we have two four six eight eight okay I do prefer to have ten of those so let's see if we can get yes okay there's nine farming and then let's see if they have something else that I use a lot like plant gathering oh, that guy has 11 in brewing who are you oh it's my brew it's my dang it something ishy being awesome at everything that sucks okay uh, let's see do they have a good butcher maybe Man, I don't have anybody talented in anything I'm using right now um uh, Maybe some, maybe a good cook. Yes. Bezapo. Some Brazilian cooking for us. Okay. So there's our 58 dwarves. Um, we did get some, some jobs for a lot of these guys. Um, 
but we do still have several haulers. Now, since I haven't automated everything, it's important that I don't assign everybody a task because we do have a lot of hauling still going on. Now, the more things that I have automated, the less haulers I need because somebody literally just picks it up, sets it in a cart, kicks it off, and then runs over somewhere else, picks it up, sets it in a cart, kicks it off, and then every all the in-between travel takes care of itself. So let's go ahead, get back to Dwarf Therapist, and see what that does to our idler count. Just prefer it to really be under 20. Ideally, I'd, I'd like it to be under 10. Um, in my offline board, sometimes I'll really sit there and play with Dwarf Therapist for like an hour. I'll keep my idlers down around zero, no matter what I'm doing. Uh, I'll really build people up and start to come up with custom professions. And eh, it takes a lot more time, really, than uh, than I'm willing to spend on the stream. If I was somebody who casted for longer, like like Nagadol, uh, where I cast for six and eight hours on end, and I may be doing a marathon here in the future, um, not to drop the bomb there, uh, but I would uh, I would probably spend a little more time on on it. So, yeah, I can take a break and go ahead and shamelessly plug. Um, I will begin this week casting on Wednesdays. I will be casting Minecraft. Um, I will be doing Industrial Craft. For those of you not familiar with Minecraft, that's basically the automatable part of Minecraft. You can make machines that process and pump and have pipes. And since you don't have other dwarves to do it, you, uh, you just... You get it to where, you know, you mine, you put it in this chest, and it just filters. Um, Tristan Lyon, you don't have to use Tekkit for that. You can actually install um, in, in, Industrial Craft. Industrial Craft Buildcraft is a standalone mod by a standalone developer. Uh, the people at Tekkit just package that for you. They don't, they don't actually make those mods. So they're not, uh, that's, that's not entirely who, what it is. Um, but yes, Tekkit does include industrial craft. Um, and yes, Catalan, uh, there are several other mods. I will be moving into some red power and some um, some railcraft, and uh, I'll be I'll be messing around with several different um, styles of. Uh, I think I'm actually going to be doing an industrial craft build craft combined at first, and then I'll be adding red power and then adding uh, rail craft long term, and then and then maybe just finish it out with some some cheating EE and and then just I don't know nuke the world or something. But that's that's a lot of Wednesdays, so I'll be casting from the same time 7:30 to 9:30 Central Wednesdays, and I may actually I I've been doing 10. I say 9:30. I think I'm actually going to go to 10 anyway. Uh, I know Whiskey moved his time up, so if some of you want to go watch that stream, I totally understand, but that's that'll be it at 9.30. Uh, Whiskey Tango Fox, another another big streamer. He upped his time. It was easier on him, and uh, Aid was out for a couple weeks, so it was really nice of him to try to fill that gap. Uh, it'd be really nice if we could have a Dwarf Fortress streamer 24 hours. So for those of you in other parts of the world, get on it. Um, because some of us over here in in America uh, can't can't stream during the day. So, um, so back to dwarf Thor dwarf fortress. While I was shamelessly plugging my Minecraft and my possible possible marathon in the near future here, um, and I'm gonna turn that down. Oh, the uh, the air conditioner is so loud here, and I I don't know I can't seem to get it. Okay, so we have fifty eight people. Half of them are just standing around. Let's come out here. Let's at least harvest some plants. See if that doesn't knock down a few of those idle farmers. Um. I'm just kind of speculating on, on who's idle. Um, I Another common two people that I have idle is when I finish my mining. So what we'll do is we'll actually widen our graveyard here. OK, 
anything. So that was 